Hey guys, today we will be comparing different classic literature editions. There are so many of them and it can be hard to decide which one to get. So I hope this video is helpful. First of all, let's talk about the Penguin Classics. This is an older version of the Penguin Classics. I have read this edition of Les Miserables and I must say that I found the font to be very small. Maybe this is because this is a very long and big book and maybe the editions that are a little bit smaller have a bigger font. Anyway, I've read the book and it was very manageable. So the font isn't so tiny that it's really annoying. It wasn't really annoying me. These editions are printed in Great Britain. The book feels good in your hands. It is very floppy. I usually also like the artwork that they pick out for these editions. Next up, I have the newer Penguin Classic editions with the black spine. I have read three of these and the font is always very good in size. I have a bigger one and I have a a uh, tinier one and when you compare them the big book is a little bit smaller in font which is okay but the smallest book that i have is Therese Raquin and when you compare it to my biggest book Anna Karenina uh, you can really see that there's a lot of difference in the font size um, because Anna Karenina is such a big book they made the font smaller so that is something to keep in mind if you are planning on buying a bigger book in this Penguin Classic Black Spine Edition. These editions are printed in Great Britain. They are very lightweight and easy to hold. They feel really good in your hand, but the book itself is very prone to damage. I am this kind of reader who always tries to keep her books in pristine condition, but with these Penguin Classics, it's almost undoable to keep them perfect. Just want you to keep that in mind. What I do love about these editions is that there is always kind of a preface and someone talking about the author and the work, and it's always super interesting to read. Next up, we have the Macmillan Library editions. They're hardcover and they come with a dust jacket. Something to keep in mind is that they are easily damaged on the gold spraying here. Um, as you can see with my Notre Dame de Paris edition of Victor Hugo, this was just the damage. I'll hold them together. This is the damage as you can see um, from just buying it at the bookstore, keeping it in my purse and going home with it. Now what has also been kind of damaged is the spine. So keep in mind that the golden letters are very easy to get damaged. The inside of the book is also gorgeous with this leaf design. I love it so much also comes with a reading ribbon and I think the font is very readable. I don't have any problems with the font size whatsoever. These editions are printed and bound in China. Next up, I have the Collins Classics Edition. I usually don't like the art on the front. Um, the books itself are not bouncy at all. They're like, they have a very hard spine. The font is okay. As you can see, it isn't small, it isn't big. It's just regular. I also find it hard to keep these editions in pristine condition. They are printed and bound in Great Britain. Next up, I have the Vintage Classics editions. I haven't read it yet, but as you can see, the font is amazing. It is the perfect size and you won't have to strain your eyes. Not a floppy edition. And I love that there's a foreword also. There's also a translator's note. These editions are also published by Penguin Classics in Great Britain. Next up, I have the Wordsworth Classics. There is an introduction in the book, which I love, and it is also printed in Great Britain. Now, when I ordered this book, I was a bit shocked because as you can see, the font is absolutely tiny and I ordered another edition of War and Peace because I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't find the strength to go ahead and strain my eyes with this tiny font. So 
I didn't really like this edition. <laughs> if you're planning on reading big classics, I wouldn't order the Wordsworth classics because the font is so tiny. Next up, I have one of my favorites, the Everyman's Library editions. They come with a dust jacket and when you take the dust jacket off, it reveals a beautiful red purplish cover. The font size is perfect and easy to read. I usually love their designs. I like the little dots. It gives like this vintage vibe. At the front, there is an introduction and a chronology. These books are printed in Germany. Next up, I have the Word Cloud Classics and I absolutely love these editions. I think they're gorgeous. On the inside, there's some beautiful artwork. I almost cried when I saw it. There is no introduction, but we do have contents. These editions are printed in China. I also love the font size. It is really readable. It is actually just perfect to read. Next, I have the Spring Edition by HarperCollins. And I know, I know, I'm always showing you Notre Dame de Paris editions, but that's because I have a lot of editions of this book. These editions are numbered, which I absolutely love. And I love that it comes with a special bookmark in the same theme as a the cover. On the front page, you can also write something if you want. What I also love is that inside the book, there are some parts with quotes. The font is perfect and easy to read. These editions are also printed in China. Next up, I have the Penguin Classics Clothbound Editions. And I think this is my least favorite of all their editions. The reason being, you have to be very, very careful with the cover because it is fading very easily. I almost dare not touch these books. The font is okay, I don't have any problems with it. They are printed in Great Britain and they come with a contents page and a note from the publisher. Next up, also one of my favorites that I'm collecting, the Chiltern Classics Edition. They come in hardcover editions and I always find the covers brilliant and stunning. They are printed in China and at the front we always have kind of the summary of the book. The font is perfectly readable. The pages are shiny, um, which you have to love and you have to know. It comes with golden sprayed edges. I haven't had any problems with the quality. It also comes with a ribbon bookmark. The final edition that I want to show you is also one from Penguin Classics. They come in these vintage covers. The font is perfect and readable. They are printed in Great Britain. It also comes with an introduction. 